banditry, Northern Governor's elders takes a drastic decision. Parents now facing consequences for their children's negligence and those in banditry who has gone into bandits must pay for it. So this is what is happening right now. In the north, the table has turned and the music playing is not quite what they used to, what they were used to. They have taken it to parents now. So if your child is caught, okay, committing any of this crime or whatever, you are the one to pay for it. Yeah, that's the new, that's the new way, uh, you know, these things are going now. If a child, if a parent, if a parent, uh, uh, I mean, they, they feel that the, the work has to begin with the parents. And if the parents have failed in their responsibilities and duties to be able to instill discipline and real values in their children, so much so that they were easily influenced to go into banditry, committing all forms of atrocity, kidnapping, killing, raping, to mention but a few, Northern governors have decided that right now it is the parents that will pay for it. Uh, well, my people, this is what is happening right now. Uh, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like, or share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. A public commentator, Halaji Ibrahim Babubakar, has blamed the banditry activities and uncontrollable imagery system in the state on lack of education and proper upbringing of children by parents and guardians. The commentator stated that the children did not start this disastrous act from their mother's womb or even after they were born, but their parents neglected them and their guardians made life what it is for them today. He blamed the state government for allowing uncomfortable influx of imagery into the state without controlling the situation of either forcing them out of the state or erroring them in a registered Islamic institution or proper school. He said that he was very optimistic that the education remained the bedrock and major grounds and meaningful development for any society and the world at large. The public commentator lamented that most of these criminals are prevailing from the north today at the cost of why there is lack of education because of the criminal activities and all that is going on. Speaking in an exclusive interview with Daily Post, Z Zamfara State Capital, Zamfara State Capital, Gov Halaji Abubakar taxed the state governors to put an effort into the attachment of noble goals of ensuring that parents are responsible for their children and should not leave them on control and into a majority system. And the government must have a way to treat all children in the state, ensuring that they all go to school and they are all looked after. Any child not in proper education, the parents should go to prison for it. If there are laws and this is being implemented, by the time two or three are paying for the penalties, others would follow suit. This is why they are calling on all the state governors of the 19 northern states to put structures in place and this will eventually with time end criminality and banditry in the east in the north northeast northwest and the whole of the north entirely if they put things in place so my people the advice to the northern governors is that immediately they should begin to put parents and make them responsible for their children if they don't make them responsible for their children, the tendency that these criminals will grow up tomorrow again and become bigger criminals is so large. Oh, tell me about it. It's such a huge one that you cannot begin to imagine what will come out of it if this is not done decently and in order. So they are encouraging and advising all the parents to make hail while the sun shines. And the governors of the 19, the 19 governors of the northern states should go ahead and put a law that all children must go to school. And any parent whose child does not go to school will have to face the consequences and will have to dance to the tune of the music they have set on. So this is what is happening right now. This is what is going on. And this is the consequences for actions. And we hope if there are things that could be put in place, probably that will help 
diffuse this influx of you know uh, uh in this influx of uh, uh, current uh, uh children not going to school if i was speaking about that there's even much more going on do you know that children in the north have not gone to school for over a decade and do you know what that means it means that uh, it means that uh, uh, more problem if care is not taken yeah more problem awaits if care is not taken because it's exactly it's exactly you know it's exactly a repeat of the problem because if you don't put these children in proper education there is nothing committing them to education there is nothing their mind is occupied with the tendency that they will go ill wire is not far from the truth so uh, unless they do something drastic to change the current narrative it's i mean we just we we are aimed for another disaster okay when you sort something in motion you should know that you should re get ready to dance to the tune of the music you have set okay so whatever is being done today is a clear indication of what tomorrow will look like unless something is done drastically to change what is happening if something is not done to change what is happening today the tendency and the, and the, and the possibility that it will it will happen again you know and even worse it's what you know uh, everyone should really be worried about not even today today is just a tip of the iceberg what you are seeing today is just a tip of the iceberg because if really truly we don't pay attention to what is happening now what may happen tomorrow may be beyond you know what that they've ever envisaged and so what's the way to go what's the real what's the real thing to put in place one of the first and foremost is education education what do we do what 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 do we term education how do we define our education is it just islamic school a, 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 a school or is a conventional school islamic school is just i mean an aspect it's not the conventional school that's not that's not the way to go that's not the way to go it's not the way to go because if you want if you want people to be better and understand what is really happening in today's 21st century they also need to go to conventional schools the governors the senators and the rest of them i believe that their children are going to islamic school but news flash they are all schooling all over the world hearing the very latest news and being informed with today's real life and reality why they tell the poor ones to go to islamic school you see you see you see how we can leave us a comment god bless you please don't forget to like or share subscribe bye for now